Welcome to the EZU course about Automation Center for Client Center. In this course, you will learn how to set up and use Automation Center Renewal Management in Client Center. So, let's get started. First, we'll discuss what Automation Center Renewal Management is and how it ties into Client Center. Agents can use the Automation Center to dispatch policy summaries and tailor-made communications, while consumers will receive proactive alerts in Client Center on upcoming renewals and options to request changes within policy summaries. This proactive approach aims to streamline the renewals process, improve transparency, enable better decision-making, and boost customer-agent relationships, reducing last-minute rushes. Next, let's discuss how to set up renewal management in Automation Center. Navigate to the Settings icon and click on Automation Center. Then, click on the Workflows tab. Depending on whether you're an Automation Center admin or basic user, you'll click on either the Create New Workflow or Suggest New Workflow button. Doing so will land you on the Select Trigger page of the Workflow Editor where you'll need to scroll down to the Retention Center section. Now, click on the arrow on the right-hand side to expand the section. Here, you'll see two options. Applicant added to the renewal list and policy added to the expiration list. Both triggers have an action that shares policy summaries and can be utilized to help you be proactive during the renewal process. For this tutorial, we'll select the option for applicant added to the renewal list. After making your selection, click on the next button to proceed. This will bring you to the add filters page. You can choose to add a filter if you wish to, but we'll go ahead and click next to continue. On the Add Actions page, we want to add the action titled Share Renewal Policy Summary to Client Center. If you choose the Policy Added to Expiration List trigger, the action associated with it will be titled Share Policy Summary to Client Center. On this page, you can enter the number of days to wait until the Policy Summary is shared to Client Center, but we'll leave this as zero so that it triggers immediately. Additionally, you can include a message to the customer in the text box. When you're done, click Save Action. Now, we're back at the Add Actions page. The next action we recommend including is a Send Email action to notify your customers that you have shared the policy summary with them in Client Center. Once on the Send Email Action page, you'll want to select a template. There are two email templates, Share Policy Summary Template and Share Renewal Policy Summary Template that provide all necessary information for your customers, including a link that will take them directly to the policy page in the client center after logging in. For this tutorial, we'll select the template titled Share Renewal Policy Summary Template. We'll leave the number of days set to zero so that the action is triggered immediately upon an applicant being added to the renewal list in Retention Center. To the right, you can preview and edit the email should you choose to do so. If the applicant doesn't have an email address on file, you can select the box to send a text message instead. When you're ready, click Save Action. Then, click the Next button on the following page. On the Finish Setup page, give the workflow a name, description, and select the agency and or branches to share the workflow with. If you're an admin, you can choose whether to enable or disable the workflow, then click Save Workflow. If you're an Automation Center basic user, you can click the Suggest to Admin button. To learn more about creating automation workflows, check out our How to Create and Suggest Automation Workflows video. Next, let's discuss how renewal management works on the Client Center side. Upon utilizing the link provided in the email template we just set up in Automation Center, customers will be taken to the Policies page. If the customer chooses to log into the Client Center without the provided link, the necessary policy to review will be easily recognized with a review tag and a notification icon on the home page. Policies nearing expiration will be flagged with Prepare for your renewal and renewing policies carry an upcoming renewal note. Conveniently, both come with options to directly review the policies. Additionally, when inspecting a policy, customers will be taken to a detailed page that has been pre-updated with the most current renewal information. If there are any required amendments to the expiring policy, customers can submit those using our request change function. For those with renewing policies, keep in mind that the request change option will only feature the general change request. All change requests, as always, trigger an instant notification to both the user and the system, with associated tasks and notes added to the customer's EasyLinks account for better tracking and coordination. To learn more about how change requests work, check out our How to Service Policies video. 
That's all for this EZU course on Automation Center for Client Center. You should now have the knowledge to set up and use Automation Center Renewal Management in Client Center. Thanks for watching.